Hi, welcome back to the Golden Vice. Today I'm just going to tie a old fly that I used to tie a lot of back when I first started fly fishing. I lived in the south and fished on um, big southern reservoirs in Louisiana, particularly Lake Bistano, which is um, it's a shame what's happened to Lake Bistano. It has been just overrun by invasive weeds, but anyway, it was a incredible place to fish back in the 80s and fishing for bass and I mean bass fishing and trout fishing are two completely different things and um, anyway so I'm going to tell you one of my go-to bass flies and it's a really simple fly it's um, basically chenille and some um, some marabou and then uh, a wing tied out of this stuff which this is actually craft I mean in the old days I tied it out of fly tying braided um, flash like that but I just bought that at the hobby store and we'll see how it works Everything is an experiment, really. All right, so we're just going to put a thread base down. It's not really critical. We're going to be covering all this with fluorescent chenille. Uh, by the way, this is a streamer nymph hook. From Wapsy, SN1, it's a size 12, and I'm just using standard 70 denier thread, and we'll just be using some orange chenille for the tail and the underwing. I mean, some orange marabou. For the tail and the underwing. And I'll be trimming this tail. Marabou is a wonderful material to fish with, but it is an absolute pain to tie with. Normally I would not cut it this short like that, just because I don't like any kind of little hump, but since I'm going to be having this chenille body, it's not going to make much difference. So this will be the chenille. And I'll come up a little bit further to tie it in. What I always do is I always kind of peel the chenille off and expose that cord for the tie-in. And you can tie this with any and a body you want. You could tie it with a tinsel body. You could put a tinsel rib. Um, I'm not putting a tinsel rib on it because it ought to have all the um, 
all the flash it needs with the wing. All right, so now we're just going to bring this chenille around. And I just want to leave enough room for a good streamer head. Use way too much chenille, so I'll have to save that. Alright, so now we just want some more chenille. <laughs> I keep doing that. Some more marabou for an underwing. And we'll be trimming this too. Chenille just gets on everything. All right, so now the fun part. Cut it a little long just in case I need it longer than I think. Then you got to pull all these, all the core out. Make sure you've got that locked down as much as you can. And then trim this as close as you can without cutting your thread. Let's try to get a nice smooth head.
just your basic whip finish. Bobbin. And then we will unravel all this. And it may look like heck, but the crazier that looks, actually, the better. Lower this down just a bit. out the better however it is all a little bit too long so I am going to trim it trim the that's a little better trim the tail Now, of course, I did all these with head cement back in the day. But I think I'll use some resin on this one. You may not believe me, but you just give this thing a try. This is a bass catching machine. Um, it'll catch bluegill, any panfish. Um, never really tried it on crappie. Probably be a good crappie fly too. But I will guarantee you that is going to catch you some bass. So, all right. That's it for this week. Hope you like this one. If you do, please subscribe. Tell your friends.